Hey guys, welcome back to 25 CPs. Today I'm going to be swatching the new London Town Lacquer Collection, which is called Back with a Vengeance. It consists of the four colors that you are seeing here, and this is actually their fall slash winter collection. So if you're looking at it and thinking, okay, this is not very fall-like, it's okay because it's combined with winter. And even though it's not really the expected color range, I'm really digging it. So let's check out the swatches. First up, we have Iconic, which is the cobalt blue cream of this collection, which I'm super excited to see in a winter slash fall collection. And this is also the first time using the new London Town brushes. As you can see, they're super flat and wide, and I'm already super excited. So formula-wise, at first when I pulled this out of the bottle, it did look like it was going to be kind of jelly-like, but putting it on, it just goes on so perfectly. It goes on... I don't it doesn't feel creamy if that makes sense it feels a little bit more sheer than a cream but it's looking like a cream on the nail which I realize is kind of confusing but so far I'm impressed this does have your typical blue polish smell a little skunky but the formula is just so nice I can't tell it's a little watery so you do kind of want to be careful not to get too close to your cuticles and flood anything because I feel like blue is always a little tricky to clean up but there is one coat and honestly in a pinch one coat would do I feel like I definitely went to that second coat to give me a full complete look but wow I'm super impressed so far Okay, it is time for our second coat of Iconic, which I'm just absolutely loving this blue. I have a thing for cobalt blue polishes for whatever reason. Not really sure why, but this one is definitely kind of filling that void of not having one in a while. <laughs> so the second coat definitely brings you to full coverage. It looks like 100% creaminess on your nail, and I am super impressed. I love a good blue. I absolutely love, love, love this new brush. These types of brushes just make the whole experience easier, and I just feel like it makes polishes apply nicer. Like, I know it's not for everyone, but for me, I just find these bigger brushes kind of amazing. So there is two coats of Iconic, and I am just super impressed. <laughs> Now we're moving on to the lightest color in this collection and this one is called Jane Austen and it is kind of a hard one to describe. It's kind of like a milky off-white that pulls a hint, a very, 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 very slight hint of a pink. And as you can see there, I kind of got a little too close to my cuticle line and it went back because it is a milky like polish. And it is going to run a little bit. So you do need to be a little bit mindful of that as I was not. <laughs> and this one is going on rather on the sheer side. But with the brush, it's making it not be like streaky, which is really nice. As you can tell, like from just this clip in the last two, I'm really enjoying this bigger brush. Like, did you guys see that? That basically covered the whole nail in one stroke. So there is one coat of Jane Austen. So far, I'm not overly thrilled with this one, but we will see. In the like graphics that they showed online of this polish, it does kind of look like it has a shimmer, but in real life, I see absolutely no shimmer. And now that it is drying, I am noticing a trend where it is settling towards the edges of my nail. I think you can see that on both this nail. Actually, you can see it on all three. So that is something to keep in mind that the wateriness of this one does cause some settling along the sides. But there is one coat. Okay, it is now time for our second coat of Jane Austen. And as you can see, it did settle towards the edges. So this is probably going to result in two to three coats, depending on how it settles. Now, I do have quite rounded nail beds. So on polishes that are kind of milky, they do tend to settle towards the edges on me. So sometimes I will try to avoid painting the super close edge of my nail just to avoid that. Or I tend to veer, veer, veer away from those in general if I know that's what's going to happen. But so far this second coat looks like it's doing pretty well. I personally can still see through a little bit in the middle. But if this does what I think it's going to do by settling towards the edge, I would definitely need three on me 
personally for that. But it is a fun color. And the more that it's on my nails, I kind of get the rosiness in it, which would be the hint of pink, which would make for like a really fun rose quartz mani if you were to do it with this polish. That might work. But we're going to let this second coat dry and then I'm going to kind of show you and we'll decide what to do from there. Now we're moving on to the only like metallic foily polish of the collection and this one is called Kissed by Rose Gold. And it is kind of a rose golden shade which is why it's like perfectly named. Oh, okay. So far, so good. I'm liking that. It's going on really nicely, as you can see. No brush strokes, which is something I think is like really key with this big brush on polishes like this. I feel like it helps remedy any brush stroke possibilities because you're doing it in a smaller amount of strokes. So the first coat, that is like really good. You can't really see through it all. Well, I mean, if you're super close, you can see through, but from afar, you really can't. So in a pinch, if you needed something really quick, you could get away with one coat. But we are going to let this dry and put on our second coat and see what happens. But so far, I am loving this one. Great formula. Okay, it is time for our second coat of Kissed by Rose Gold, which so far, I am really loving. I feel like this is the perfect foily rose gold although I wouldn't necessarily call it a rose gold I feel like it's a sandy gold with only a hint of rose so keep that in mind but I feel like this is like the perfect fall color and the fact that there's no brush strokes makes me so happy because usually I run into troubles with these types of polishes with strokes and then I'm just like eh, I don't want to wear it but this one I am really loving on the nail so there is two coats of Kiss by Rose Gold Lastly, we have a super rich red called Vendetta, which is kind of expected in a fall winter line. So let's see how this one performs. Ooh, that just looks like, this is going to sound weird, but it looks like a really juicy red. Does that make sense? And that is so pigmented, actually. I was looking at it through the neck of the bottle, and I was like, oh, this might be a little bit sheer, but really it's not. This is a gorgeous red that has a great formula, as you guys can see. And one thing I've noticed about all of these creams is that they're so shiny and they dry so shiny, which is really nice. I mean, I always use top coat, but a top coat that is super shiny on top of a super shiny polish is just going to look extra shiny, which is always good. So there is one coat. And honestly, again, if you're in a pinch, you could be done. That is basically full coverage. I'm going to put on a second coat to see what happens to the color intensity to see if it deepens or anything. But really that one coat is good. So there is one coat. Okay, it's time for our final coat of Vendetta. And again, this is just a like see what happens with two coats segment because you're good on that first coat and looking at this with two coats, they look about the same It might have deepened the color tiniest tiniest bit nothing dramatic so like you're not really gonna miss out if you don't do that second coat I know a lot of people just prefer a second coat for like personal like security feelings like oh I've got nail polish on and it's gonna last with two coats so you go right ahead it's not gonna change the color or anything if you're not feeling in the mood for two coats though so there is two full coats of Vendetta and well, that is a wrap. Here is a look at all of the colors that we just swatched. I am personally totally in love with Iconic. I feel like it is the standout of this collection, even though they do all have amazing formulas. I'm just super in love with that one. So let me know what your favorite was in the description box below. Also, I will have a link to the London Town website where you guys can pick these polishes up because they are available now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will have something new for you guys on Wednesday. So stay tuned. Bye.